Now we have physical properties of herene. As you already discussed, we have already discussed that how we can form herenes. So now uh, let's see that what kind of physical properties they possess. So if we talk about the physical state of or you can say about their existence, so we have seen that from benzene to an 8 carbon atom compound, they are colorless liquids. They are colorless liquids and above that they are solids with characterized smell. Second is combustion, as we have seen that they have high carbon content, they have uh, like the carbon minimum present in them is C6 or more than that, right. So due to high carbon content, they actually burn with a sooty flame. Next is solubility, so as we know they have a big, uh, you can say a hydrocarbon part and we know that hydrocarbon part is hydro phobic that is water repelling. So due to this you can see that they are not soluble in water but they are soluble in organic solvents. So they are mostly uh, you can say they have a property of non-polar uh, non so that is why they are soluble in the non-polar solvents that is the organic solvents because they have a hydro large hydrophobic part. Next is melting and boiling point. So if we consider the boiling point first so we have seen that boiling point increase with the increase in the molecular size because when molecular size increase the strength of van der Waal force also increase because more is the area more is the van der Waal force so obviously more is the boiling point. On the other hand if you will see the melting point, melting point depend upon the van der Waal force also and moreover it depends upon the symmetry also. All the symmetrical structures all the symmetrical structures they fit better into the lattice and when they fit better into the lattice you can say they have a high melting point and if we talk about an unsymmetrical structure so they do not fit be bet, uh, better into a lattice so they are not uh, tightly packed due to which their melting point is comparatively low. So these are the few physical properties of the arenes. So now as you are familiar with the preparation and the physical properties, so now we are uh, in a state to start with the chemical uh, properties by studying its chemical nature. So we are going to uh, study uh, the chemical properties now. In the meanwhile what you do is just make yourself familiar with the preparation and the physical properties of arenes first. Right. <laughs>